Hello! Welcome to another Southern New Hampshire University's Learning Center tutorial on how to use Minitab Express. In order to do any of the procedures that I'll be showing you in this video, it is assumed that you have already installed Minitab Express. If you have not already installed uh, the program, you can look at another video from this channel on the process of installing it through the SNHU Blackboard website. Uh, or you can also get the website or the program through the Minitab official website. Uh, which you can just find on a Google search. So assuming you have the program, uh, let's just go ahead and open that up. So it's gonna, oop. basically this video is going to be talking about using normal and binomial uh, distributions. So once in Minitab, you can uh, select the statistics tab at the top of the screen. On the left-hand side, uh, towards the top, it says CDF PDF. It is the second option of this, uh, the statistics menu. If you select that, there are a few options. So for this, we're going to select cumulative distribution function. So this is going to open up a window. Uh, within this window, this is basically where we're going to be telling Minitab what it is we are doing. So uh, there's a drop-down menu. It says form of input. So within that, you can drop that down, and you can either have a column of values or a single value. So let's say you needed to find the area under a curve for a single value. You would just select a single value. If you actually had a bunch of uh, values that you wanted to find the area or the probability for, you would have to input all the data points into this. So I can just put in, so like, let's say you had uh, 2, 2.5. Oh, I skipped one. We'll do 1.8. Uh, so now if you wanted to do it of all those, you could select the uh, column of values option. And within this, you would just choose a column. And I put all my data in column 1. So if you select C1 for that, it would then know that's where you are uh, getting that data from. If you were doing a single value, you just have to put that in. So if we were just doing it strictly for 1.8, you would choose, or you just type in 1.8, and it will do it of just that individual number. So at this point, we now choose the distribution that it is that we're doing. So uh, the main ones for this tutorial are going to be binomial and normal. Those are the two distributions uh, that we'll be going over. So if you select normal, you just need to enter in your mean and your standard deviation. Note, if your values are z-scores, your mean will always be 0 and your standard deviation will always be 1. Uh, so assuming these are z-scores and we're doing a normal distribution, we'll just keep that as normal, 0, 1 and we will display a table of cumulative probabilities. If you'd rather them, the answers be output into another column, you can store it and it'll print it in the second column here. But for our, uh, this video, I'm just going to display a table of the probabilities. So we hit OK, and it runs everything. Uh, on Minitab, there is a navigator. So if you end up doing multiple tests, you can select through them all. But for now, we've only run one. So as you can see, it has the cumulative probabilities. So if this is x of 2, 1.8, 2.5, these are the probabilities of getting that. Or essentially, these are the numbers where it represents the area under the curve to the left of that x value. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I won't be getting into too much of the math details. Uh, this is strictly to understand and be able to use the Minitab program. So these are all your probabilities for your normal distribution. Now, if you were talking about binomial, again, you'd go back into the same menu. Uh, let's say let's just do a single value this time, and let's say we wanted to find the probability of selecting uh, three or fewer. So we put in three for our value. We're selecting binomial. And then instead of putting in the mean and the standard deviation, you will enter in the number of trials and the event probability. So let's say I had 10 trials with a 30% success rate, and we wanted to find the probability of getting three or less. So, or three or fewer, sorry. So if we hit OK, again, as you can see on the left, it now gives us a second uh, output, and we can select that, and then this is the cumulative for that binomial situation. So the area, or in this case, the probability of selecting a number uh, three or fewer uh, with our given scenario is 64.96%. And that is how you use Minitab for strictly normal and binomial CDF. 